Clemson 41, Georgia Tech 10. Um, and I know that Clemson did not want this to be the uh, the thing that you take out of it. But Cade Klubnick, at the end of that game, looked like a seasoned vet. Everything that he did looked better than what DJ Uyangalele did. Which is, like, you hate that? But also, I mean, you get it, right? I mean, it's just... Uh, that offense was questionable at best early. Uh, eventually, DJ did look better, right? As you went through, you could see, and you can see this on on here, uh, Cade, I mean, my gosh, uh, EPA per play for Cade was uh, .98. EPA per play for DJ was .09. That's a massive difference. And yes, it is an incredibly small sample size, but who? It looked completely different. Looked completely different. Um, they ran more plays for DJ Uyangalele in the running game than they did Will Shipley. And I don't get that. Uh, you got to find a way to get your best players the ball. Shipley only got one target uh, in you know receiving. He only had ten rushes for forty-two yards. Let me check and make sure that that's right. Shipley, 10 carries, 42 yards, and had one catch and one target. Will Shipley is one of the top three players on this offense. I mean, what are we doing here? I I could not figure out Clemson's game plan. Uh, When you go and look, here's the biggest thing, and you can see it on the screen here. This is from the ESPN box score. Uh, This is Georgia Tech throws an interception on the first play of the game, then... Three and out with a punt for Clemson. Four plays and a fumble for Clemson. Uh, Three plays and a punt for Clemson. Three plays and a punt. Four plays and a touchdown, but that's on a five-yard field uh, because you blocked a you blocked a punt. Um, Georgia Tech misses a field goal, and then finally the offense. Once you get towards you know the end of the second quarter, goes eight plays, eighty-seven yards uh, or sixty-seven yards. Excuse me. And then, of course, they they punt again before the end of the half. Uh, it is Clemson scored five touchdowns on fourteen drives. One of those why uh, was by Klubnik late in the game. Uh, one of them was a five yard drive. Another one, let's see. There's a field goal. There's a da, 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 there you go. Touchdown. Four plays. Fifteen yards. So fourteen of those forty one points were just handed to you. There are still offensive issues at Clemson. We will say that. Georgia Tech, uh, pretty bad. I mean, just look, looked really bad. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Uh, 237 yards. And, and yes, part of this is the fact that Clemson's defense is light years ahead of them. Right? Their defense is awesome. But, man, uh, this was bad. It, it, at the same time, Georgia Tech still. This game was 14-10 to 10 in the third quarter. Georgia Tech still had opportunities. They just didn't quite have the dudes. So, Jeff Sims, uh, Jeff Sims wasn't bad. Uh, 23 out of 36 for 164 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Uh, ran the ball 13 times, 41 yards. Like, he, you know, he's all right. But, man, this is a rough, rough stretch for Georgia Tech. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.